actual like, going out use. Mm-hmm, it's just mm-hmm, for mm-hmm. you get your workout in. You need something to soak up the sweat. Why not sure, an sure. Old Henley from Old Navy? Oh, this O's. might predate Old Navy. I think the Old Navy folks, when they opened the store back in the 90s, found this uh-huh. probably in a dumpster on a dead guy. And they're like, hey, let's resell this. Ellis will buy it. Because it Look at that. It, it does resemble, like, Grandpa Joe's shirt in Charlie and the it's, it's starting to get those weird yellow stains where you're like, uh-huh. it's not pee and it's not sweat. Uh-uh. What is it? Uh-uh. It's, uh-uh. Just, it's just weird over time. Your body produces these weird, slightly yellow molecules, sort of uh-huh. like somebody's teeth who's been eating taffy for too long, yeah. you know? Yeah. Taffy or just chugging coffee or smoking the smokes? There you go. Marlboro Man teeth. Smart this, this is the – you can't see it on camera, but this is – yeah. <laughs> this Henley has a lot of Marlboro Man teeth sheen to it. <laughs> it's like an off-white, sort of an eggshell. I, no, I was going to say it's not an eggshell. Eggshell is like the ultra-white. Eggshell like, is not ultra-white. It's that mother of pearl you're looking for. I want is, Cape uh... Cod sand white. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Or or you can just go with the, the base term, lily white. Oh, That lily every white. gym teacher knows. Yep, yep. <laughs> I don't care what I don't care what your race or ethnicity is. Your gym teacher at one point yelled at you, "Get your lily white ass over here!" <laughs> he did. He did. He did. I <laughs> I I got. I was part of like not a class action lawsuit. I was part of like a large group principal visit that got a gym teacher suspended at our high school and should have been fired. Wow. Should have been for fired. what? You get well, hit in the head with a dodgeball. No, well, I was part of a class where the gym teacher, old like curmudgeon dude, mm-hmm. right? And I don't. Just had been a gym teacher for forty plus years, and just like eh, another dodgeball seat. Like w- in my high school, which is the dumbest idea of all time, is you had freshmen mm-hmm. and seniors in the same class. Oh, fresh meat. Let's be honest. Josh McCougan didn't really hit puberty until like middle sophomore year. Oh, so you came in as a freshman. Getting, so you were not a senior saying, hey, look, this gym teacher's picking on the freshman. You no, were a freshman. Getting destroyed in floor hockey. You and other, it was it just you and other freshmen? It as was, part of this, I'm calling it a class action suit. As part of this class no. action suit, it's just you and freshmen? Seniors, everybody. Seniors and freshmen. Okay, it wasn't about the physical. You nining together. That yeah. is un- That is rare. It was more racism than anything. It was 1997. Right. We haven't really, I mean, we should have been cognizant of the situation that people are sensitive about being made fun of for how they look, you dumb dums. It's not Jim Crow, okay, you assholes. And Wait, even so, then, this was, is, so the like, gym teacher on. was lobbing... Names at people. Correct. And you all, seniors and freshmen, yes. thought it was untoward and from a bygone era that should have never existed. Yes. And so we need to get Mr. Hackenmeyer, which I believe his name is, yeah, correct. out of here. Correct. Did it work? Well, uh, here's what happened. So the line was, mm-hmm. he's saying people's names. You don't names. have to repeat it. You no, know. no, 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 no. <laughs> he's saying people's names. And yeah. I went to like a pretty multicultural school. Uh-huh. Okay. We had a lot of people from India. We, we had, you know, Pittsburgh has a couple of... Uh, companies that people come to, like from out of the country, and it's there's a location like Bear Corporation and other Alcoa, all these kind of places. All the right? famous steel mills. Yes, exactly. Everybody knows that. And so uh, the, he starts reading names, and he and he stops like, "What is this? Some kind of UN meeting?" And everybody's like, "Oh, oh, no, you can't do that. No, no, you want everybody to feel included." So the principal, especially if if the 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 poor person in question is a freshman. Who's got to walk into a senior class ready to play dodgeball? We literally only played floor hockey, and then you had a swim, and then we went back to floor hockey. Those were the only gym classes we did. Oh, Josh McCougar was licking his chops once he got in the pool. Now well, that was ridiculous. Teach the seniors a lesson, huh? I had to, I had to go to morning practice and then swim again, and then swim again. God, man, three the days. Hell, that is your life. It was awful. I didn't hear the word coal mines in there. <laughs> I think you're doing okay. I think I'm doing I think you're doing okay. You didn't even have to Thanks. shave back then, probably, Thanks. right? No, well, I did, and yeah. then I didn't. So the coach get fired? Oh, uh, yeah, he was gone. Yeah. I mean, he was suspended. Gets things done. And then they were going to bring him back, and everybody's like, no, what? No, yeah. no, 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 no. Just let him go off into the sunset. He's been here long enough. I mean, I don't know what his retirement package looks like, but I'm sure he got it. You know what's so weird it's a is union. like it, it and, and it's it kind of correlates with how you feel about teachers because when you're a kid, it's just like a teacher's is the authority. Yes. And then you get older and now we have friends that are teachers. They're morons. Idiots. They're they're all <laughs> they're all just as dumb as the rest of us. I'm yes. not saying I'm better because I'm not, yeah. but it, we're all just stupid mm-hmm. adults trying to figure it out. And so when you translate that into coaches, as we've seen in the media. As recently as a couple days ago, Correct. you'd see coaches. It doesn't matter if you're teaching gym class in high school or if you're an NFL head coach 
We all are just dumb adults. I don't care how much you've won. I don't care how many trophies you have, how many champions you have. We're all just morons trying to make it. Whether you're Urban Meyer at his restaurant or you're Jay Gruden puffing a... Uh, Puffing a doobie yeah. with a with a co-ed. I mean, if you're Larry Eustachy, if you're Bobby Petrino, what is Wayne wrong Fonts. with these coaches? Stop it, lumping Wayne Fonts into this. Fonts, never did anything. You're right, he did it. To he did anyone it. Really, other than, really. I mean, he could have assembled a better line for Barry Sanders. But, Wayne, we love you. <laughs> yeah, the only thing he ever did that was bad was to choose defense in an overtime, really and truly. <laughs> That's it. That's he was a nice guy. He was just a big fat guy. He was like trying to be a coach. Oh man, yeah. He made a lot of Thanksgiving. He was living though. the dream. A lot uh, of Thanksgiving. Adrian M says, We need to get a bingo card every day for Josh. I got I got everybody knows that. And Josh mentions Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a, a, a positivity Josh report Pittsburgh is the center square. <laughs> yeah. Well, we just did it. So That's the hit given. It. Yep. Uh when I'm on the show, here's some things I would like to be on the bingo card. Okay, go. The term Henley. Henley. Um, <laughs> done and done. Roy Rogers breakfast. Ha! <laughs> put it on the table. And of course, a v- creation. <laughs> creation. And the appearance of what? A p- uh, iced tea? An iced tea on the, the desk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that's, that's the center of my well, bingo card. Well, we know I, it's going to happen. It's like Alf on Hollywood Squares. It's yeah. a given. Every time. What an episode of Hollywood Squares that was. Ikaika Shively threw up his paddle. I, it, the Hawaiian hunk yesterday was not feeling well. And I said, listen, don't come in. I want to make sure you don't have COVID. So let's get you a test. He tested right. negative. Apparently, he just had a lot of bad fast food. Weight loss challenge. We are really starting to struggle. He, I'm telling you. These I got are the dog this- days of summer. Yes. Yeah. So Ikaika. Kaika Shively. You had fast food yesterday. That is. Monday. W- w- Monday. Hey, Monday is yeah. not the day you do. A cheat meal. Monday is the day that you're like, all right, hey, hey, we had a rough weekend, yep. but we're going to pick it up mm-hmm. and we will play good football. Correct. So what was your, your uh, it was even your cheat meal or was it just a meal? I ate dinner too early <laughs> and then I was drinking some bourbon and then the Raiders lost and I was like, you know, what? I need McDonald's. So oh. what was the order? What do you mean? What did you get at McDonald's? Oh, I got. <sighs> Come on. I got a happy meal. A happy meal. Is that allowed? You got a hat? Yeah. yeah. Do you get like, do, do, do you they get put questioned? A, so you yeah. get to pick your toy and there was, they had. They like, put out the, an Amber Alert when you get it with no kids in the car? Like, what's going on? I mean, no, I, I, I door dashed it. That's why I got Happy Meal. Even more. Cheaper. You got parents that are rolling up there, probably not with the kids sometimes. That's you true. know, they leave the tykes at home and it's like, honey, I just need to get out of the house. I'll pick up the Happy Meals. Yeah. I got a double and cheeseburger too. They, okay. Don't worry. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> Yeah, I what did you want meal. out of the Happy Meal? Like a Pokemon or something? They had a, a Disney toy. It was like 50th anniversary, like 90s retro stuff. I was like, oh, I want to see what it is. I got you it. said and 90s it, retro. You had me back. You got me back. And then the I got the toy, and it was not Disney. It was like that Ron's Gone Wrong movie that's coming out. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> did you? They knew, they knew you weren't a kid, and they wanted to toast you. Did but, you get back in the line and demand the proper toy? No, I, was, I door dashed it. Oh, and okay. you can select the toy on DoorDash, mm-hmm. which I didn't know about. So I selected. I mean, there, there's generations out there that are just not going to know the joy and the pressure mm-hmm. of being in a drive-through line, and then all of a sudden it's your turn. And especially if you're ordering not just for yourself, yeah. you got other people in the car. Mm-hmm. It's a pressure-packed situation oh, yeah. where every you can get the order three cars before you get up to the line. I know what he's going to know. What he's getting, and then and then all of a sudden you get up there. They ask defense you the shows up. Defense it's shows up. Kind of hard to hear. You can't really understand all the time because yeah. of the communication device. And yep. then your mind just goes blank slate. And you don't even remember what you don't even remember where you are, who you are in the unit. You don't remember what your job is. You don't remember that you were in a car. You completely black out, and you you just you gag. My dad would get very angry. Uh, when we got to the drive through window? Because when we were kids, mm-hmm. this was before the advent of the fast food companies all getting together and be like, you know what's easier than the individual menu items? Numbers. Yes. So, so you couldn't just say a number two, no mayonnaise. You had to say, I want a quarter pounder with cheese, crispy golden fries, yeah. a Coca-Cola classic, large, and then you had to give them the sauces and, and all that stuff. The other thing you couldn't do at McDonald's back in the day was like customize your order because if you're like, I want a plain hamburger, like you got to park your car and come in. It's going to be about 15 minutes. Yeah, it, it was it was the equivalent of when you're on hold with somebody and you're yeah. trying to do the automated, and then it says, "Please hold while I <laughs> assist you while I get a representative." To yes. say, it's like oh, I need the representative now. Here we go. Now and I'm going to talk to a human. And then the representative comes in. So what's your problem? I told the guy before. Oh, they don't tell us that. Yeah. It's like there's no there's no thing. Uh, Matt the Beard Man chimes in with a super chat. He says, "As a high school coach, I." I can say I'm definitely just a dumb adult. All right, Matt. 
Thanks for my mom used to say <laughs> my mom was a teacher for 30 plus years. And I don't I would never call her a dumb adult because she would literally rip my face off. Yes, but my mom would just come home and be like <sighs> and give the name of a teacher and just complain to my dad. And you could just see my dad kind of like eating. He's like, I know, Deb, I know what you want to do. Because my dad was a dumb teacher at one point. But then he tried to smarten yeah. up. Yeah. And then yeah. you're going to have teachers that write it. They're like, I'm not stupid. Look. Any walk of life, you're going to have outliers. Correct. You're have people that are that are smart. I'm sure yes. out there somewhere there is a a podcast host or a television personality that is actually smart. Mm -hmm. You're not looking at two of them right now. Correct. No. No. You no, know, no, no. this is the average for what our profession is, and mm -hmm. I just don't think that it's that the bar is that much higher for a teacher or for a coach. Now, if you had to name a coach, it can be any level of anything Do you actually believe in, you actually think is morally upright mm -hmm. and is not just going to be grabbing ass at their own restaurant. Mm -hmm. Who would you pick? Uh, Tony Dungy, right away. Ah, that's a good pick. That's a, he's 100%. off the board. Yeah. I, I'll take Joe Gibbs. Okay. I'll give you Gibbs. I mean, we're, I'm definitely not picking anybody in charge at, like, USA Gymnastics. I'll tell you no. that much, because they're the worst. No, and I don't trust I, I don't trust a lot of any college coaches out there that we Ugh. trust. No. You got to pay for players. I don't care who you are. You're yeah. gonna get, they're going to get some cash under the table, because they're not getting... Once they pass the law, even then, now it's the Wild West. But before, like, those kids are... They don't make money, and they work a full-time job. When I looked at the schedule to be a D1 swimmer, not even a football player... A swimmer. It's a full-time job. What? Then I go to class and then I party? No, 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 no. I went to college for the social life and then I get a 3-0 and I got out there. Okay. I feel like Did that Nick upset Saban, my parents? Sure. Nick Saban from Alabama. I feel like he's just too uh, exhausted from his job and beleaguered to do anything yeah. with, with anyone else. I feel like he all he wants every time he's on camera, even on the sideline, he just seems like a guy who just wants to get back in the hammock by himself. Correct. You know, I yeah. just want to get back to the hammock. <sighs> Linda, give me five minutes on the hammock. And poor, I mean, I, I feel like Nick Saban started at Alabama with hair, and now it's just getting thinner and thinner and more like hay every season. It's starting to become that old man, uh, Doc Brown. Look. Yes. It just gets, because as, as men age, our hair, we, we lose it, and then the stuff that we do keep, it gets really, really stringy. It's so stringy. My favorite. <laughs> it's like a cat. It's like an old cat toy. Yes. It's, it really is. It's the cat has destroyed it, like ripped it apart. And there's strings coming out, but the cat still loves it. And yeah, it, holds, loves it holds on to yep. it forever, mm -hmm. right? Like, my, he he does. <laughs> Look, you see an old, I love seeing an old guy at a restaurant in L.A. with, like, a younger woman. Clearly, hair dyed 100%, slick back, Nose and it's hairs. just string. Oh, it's just string for Ear days. Hairs. Oh, that, I mean, I shave it because I don't have hair. But also, I buzz it because I know full well what my hair would look like. It's not good. We know it's, it's going to happen. We know it's going to happen. Uh, basically, you're looking at two fellas whose uh, peak is is way, way gone by now. Now, he did the right thing, and he he got married, and mm -hmm. he's got a kid. And so he yep. started a family. And so I'm still out there, mm -hmm. like, swinging Dick Leisure Larry back, you know, back in the 80s. Like, <laughs> leisure hey, Suit Larry? Hey, remember me? Yeah. Just the fact that I made a Leisure Suit Larry reference should show you. That I am past my prime. Which Shannon do you think was in the Leisure Suit Larry movie? Was it Shannon Elizabeth or Shannon Doherty? Oh, my God. That's a great question. I have to go. I'm taking Elizabeth off the board. You correct. Correct. Oh, good. Shannon okay. Shannon Elizabeth. Okay. That was a Josh Brady category last week. Uh, Shannon! Because Shannon Barney was on. Mm -hmm. that, uh, quite, we, I had asked all the questions in the Tom Cruise Irish accent and far and away. Say you like my hat! Every, ac every question? Yeah. Oh, well, wow. just in that category. Oh, just in that category. Okay. No, I'm all not right. doing the whole time. Yeah, it's like the Pittsburgh category. I dip into the accent for the Pittsburgh category. I come out. I was gonna say, like, like if you have to go any accent, if I had to host an entire Josh Brady episode, any accent, yeah. I would start out with an accent, and then by the end, it'd be like Costner's Robin Hood. Yeah, where it's like, yeah, we tried it. <laughs> it was like when the, when Tom Cruise came to set at Valkyrie, and they were like, "You gonna do a German accent?" Yeah. He's like, "No, I'm Tom Cruise. I'm just gonna talk yeah. like Days of Thunder." He's like, "Oh, okay, yeah, and no big deal." I, I was fine with it. I, I yeah. didn't mind. Didn't Tom mind Cruise, the movie. My yes. patch. Sign me up. Um, thank you all for watching the Positivity Report. We're here every single weekday, Monday through Friday. Mark Ellis is here. Mark, -na 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 -na. tell the people where you're going to be this weekend. New York City, where oh. they make other salsa that is not picante. New York City is the place, the destination, <laughs> particularly New York Comedy Club. Boom. Thursday. Friday. Friday sold out. Still some tickets Thursday. Whoa. Got a great lineup, and then yeah. I'll be headlining it. And then Saturday, we got the big movie trivia schmodown. Hey, yo. Sunday, I'll be drinking at a Brooklyn bar watching my Washington football team take on the New Orleans Saints. Ooh, be that's there. Hot game. 
And you're the Washington football team. What are you guys, two and two? We're two and two. See? You're unlike the Pittsburgh Steelers, who are, are one and three, three and who should be. We don't, I have no idea how we beat the Buffalo Bills. Nor do I, because boy, did we not and beat the Bills. And boy, do the Bills look good. Boy, does jo- I saw Josh Allen throw a football, and I thought to myself, Ben can't do that anymore. He used to be able to do that, <laughs> but now he cannot. And I don't know why. Like, Mike Tomlin got impressed. Like, that's still my quarterback. I, gr- I know that he is. We are we are we all just pulling a false eye? It's like when my parents thought that I could play soccer, and they're like, mm. maybe we have a conversation with the kid. Yeah, he doesn't use his feet as well as he uses anything else. Helps with program, soccer, right? He also isn't fast. Another thing you need in soccer helps with soccer. He also keeps touching the ball with his hands. Does not help with soccer. He's not good at goalie, so we can't have him in that. Maybe we stay, but everybody else is playing soccer. Like, just keep putting Josh in the league. Eventually, Josh figured it out. Did he? Yeah, because he never played soccer past fifth grade. I played soccer in uh, intramural uh, college. Oh, man. And, man, did we have fun. I played defense. (laughs) I played defense. Yeah. I mean, I know how to play soccer. When I went to the American University of Rome in Rome on my study abroad, they needed people to fill in on the the university soccer team. We only played three games. I sat on the bench. (laughs) Yeah, you just come in there. You know, come in, you spell somebody for a little bit. I did one slide tackle, hurt my leg. Give somebody a quick blow, which the first time we heard that term, freshman, high school, coach said, look, if you need a blow, just say, coach, I need a blow. We're all on the floor. (laughs) Dying. Coach has no idea. And by the way, our coach played at Penn State. Whoa. Yeah, played basketball at Penn State. Basketball? Yeah. Yeah. We have a basketball team at Penn State? You, you have a basketball team. Occasionally you sneak into that little NCAA yeah, tournament. No. But I'm not here to talk about the past in terms of PSU or even Wake Forest Demon Deacons. I'm here to talk about, mm-hmm. you know, I'm going to New York today. Um, Are you show now? starts tomorrow. But okay. tickets at markellis.live. You, you know where I was on Monday? Where were you? You know where right? I spent the whole day and the whole night on Monday? Tell me. Magical land that I was aware of, but I did not know the nice little community that is Catalina Island. Oh, man. Oh, my God. The place is perfect. There? Yeah, I went there with Amanda's family like a month ago, and I was like, why hasn't anybody told me about Nobody this Nobody told me about I just thought it was an island that you go have a picnic, then you no. leave. It's a whole downtown area. It's it's, me, it's like Carmel. I was, You know what I was going to compare it to? It's like an Italian island mixed with Ocean City, Maryland. It looks exactly like it's something plucked out of a nice, sleepy Italian Getaway Correct. because they just build the houses right up, you right get up Spanish there. tile houses. I was staying in Hamilton Cove, the nicest part Whoa. of Catalina Island. But they have everything. They got restaurants. They got bars. Uh-huh. They have cool outdoor bars, indoor bars, zip lines, zip lines, golf, a there, putting green. There is there is mini golf. I don't think there's an actual golf course. There is an actual golf course. Is there yes, really? There is. I did not play it, but I I played the uh, I played the mini. It's not even mini golf. It's it's the putting course. So it's okay. eighteen holes, but, but all you're doing is putting on grass. Yeah. And you got to maneuver around a lot of deer shit, mm-hmm. but you you still find your way. So yeah. I ended up eh, maybe a course record six under. I, I don't know. Wow, I, Mark. Here's the thing. I, I can putt. I can putt. Mini golf America is where I used to work for a reason. Did you work at a mini golf course? Mm-hmm. Uh, this I did not yeah, know. My name's Mark. Have we met? Mini you never golf told me that you America. worked there. I knew you were good at mini golf. I was a legend at what is called red carpet golf outside Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I believe Peters Township. Red carpet golf. Red carpet golf. Where they, they toss have... roses in front of you as you walk? Correct, yeah. And Meryl Streep is always outside in a cardboard cutoff. Waving. It's a big production. It's huge. <laughs> uh, they would have a tournament every Monday, and I won one one time. It's but the best feeling in the world. My buddy Nate Meerstein won six one summer, and then he went and played professional volleyball. What? That... Who? His name's Nate Meerstein. At your wedding? No, not at my wedding. Uh, you, you got to get the Meerstens there. Yeah, they're both brothers play basketball because they're both over six ten. Yeah, and he was six the, ten. Six ten. He was the only white guy to ever dunk in oh, our high school. God, imagine <laughs> cranking those out. If you're the parents, you just—I mean, you're just so proud of yourself. Yeah, the mo- the dad was like six eight, worked at John Deere. I mean, come on. Is it getting better? Oh, there's nothing better than a tall guy on a tractor <laughs> who <laughs> hates rock and roll music come and what on. it's done to this community. Unbelievable. Uh, Kingsport Cal says, you guys need to go to Johnson City, Tennessee. I've been saying this for years. Yeah, we, okay. <laughs> How, it, I've heard sure. good things about Johnson City. I, I would need love to, to know go. Ken talks about it all the time. I need to know what the itinerary is. Are we doing like, like what I would do in Tennessee and in, in, in Nashville? Are, are we Stand going up to outside see, of Sonic? I want to see a lot of music. Yeah. I want to see. I want to eat Hattie B's. Yeah. Hot chicken mm-hmm. is where I want to go. Mm-hmm. I want to get some of those drunk milkshakes that they have at that Ooh, one bar. Yeah. And that's what I'm doing in Nashville. And so what am I doing in Johnson City 
because I'm happy to go. Chili's. I just want to know what the what, what what the schedule is. Yeah, in Kingsport Cal. Put in a throw in a super chat and give us a little like itinerary of what we're going to do in Johnson City, Tennessee. I would like to know. I need I need a little bit of sell because if you're going to go to Catalina, you get a cabana, maybe you play the mini golf oh, course, man. yeah, have a Bulls. beer and ice cream. Oh, I you know what I had? I was I was walking around uh, with a friend of mine from college and. She wanted to get a, a latte, so I'm like, yeah, we go to this mom and pop place. And guess what I got for the we, first time ever? Can we beep, 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 back that up? What's that? Kaika, hit some breaking news. Hit What's some that? breaking news. Yeah, what? Did I just friends, Josh. Did I just hear a she? You, you took did. A, you took a lady yeah. to Catalina? Yeah, I went gender specific. Did yeah. you wear the Henley that's kind of looking like not red this carpet hen- golf no, in the wintertime? No, time? no, no, I did not wear the... Uh, the the clamshell wow. uh, for for that the one. clamshell yeah, yeah I, I I I wore a the a, old lady brooch mother of pearl I wore a nicer shirt during wow. the day then wow. then we might have gone sleepless at night we're just friends. did you stay Everybody in a relax. hotel together uh, we what? stayed in an Airbnb that's mm-hmm. a two bedroom so whoa so you got a bedroom I got a bedroom everybody's happy no one of the bedrooms was for your luggage the other one was for a little bit of I mean look well, where the luggage and where I slept is is irregardless but you look out on over the water. And it was a storm that night. Ooh. Y'all got the storm. Oh yeah, the lightning. I I was treated to a rock show. It was like a Kiss concert. It was awesome. Would you say you, may, you might as well jump? There was a little bit of jump there. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah did you good. in the Airbnb though? Did you dance the night away? Uh, dance the night away, but but you got to leave room for the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, that lightning was coming down like it was running with the devil. And you got to be honest, you you don't see lightning like that that often in Panama. So no, and 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 I'll be honest with you. I mean, I was feeling the love of the lightning that night, but just because we were in two separate bedrooms, it it doesn't mean Jamie's crying. You no, know? It I'm, doesn't. I'm a happy guy. Mm-hmm. I'm the atomic punk. Come on. I'm right now. I'm a little <laughs> shocked that what that I didn't go full unchained. That well, that that you just casually drop a she. Say you were a friend, and you guys went to an Airbnb together. I was on... Let me tell you, if Lynn Ellis and Debbie McCuga heard about this, they would think, is this the time? Is this, does Debbie McCuga send out the APB, light off the, the Mark Ellis fireworks have been waiting in the backyard? Because she, my mom, if she's not invited to your wedding, will be livid. Uh, Deb's invited to the wedding, okay. and my mom is probably going to be invited too. <laughs> but it's so fun to think of your life through the lens of Sports Center, where, what, like, what's the headline? What's right. the lead? Right. You know, it's like uh, for, like the lead for if, if Sports Center covered Ikaika's life, if, if Ikaika was the New York Yankees or the Los Angeles Lakers, okay. the, the lead would be uh, Shively has McDonald's. Um, we'll miss semicolon uh, <laughs> wrong toy in box. Like that's the that's yes. the lead. Yeah. And right, so right. I understand for a Deb or a Lynn, it's like the lead is El- Junior <laughs> goes to Catalina with college friend uh-huh. in quotes in quotes yeah uh the the other headline well then you would go to the talking heads and they were like catalina is romantic yeah it's a romantic place that has yeah. romantic vibes and then there's Kellerman no way he goes counters, to uh th- 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 there's a ton of things you could do in catalina <laughs> uh-huh. that are not romantic falconry <laughs> i did a, see a there's falconry. a putting course there's a zip line there's a full golf course you can swim with dolphins there's plenty of things to do see? that aren't necessarily romantic but you know what I had? But you know what they do in Catalina, <laughs> Max? Okay? And I'll do it Stephen A. Dramatic pause. Thank you. <laughs> I like when he gets really quiet. They make out. Okay? This is, but see, he... You he, kiss him by the water. The water is too <laughs> crystal clear to not kiss a human. You see the fish, you see the water, and you kiss him. All right, so my, my Stephen A. is a little different because it's going to get to that tenor, okay. but it always starts out like this. I've been to Catalina Island many times. I've experienced the waters. I've experienced the feelings of Catalina. I've seen the boats come in from shore and leave and come back the very same day. Now, am I saying that on that day, Mark Ellis got anything romantic happening with anyone else in his two-bedroom Airbnb? No. But it could have happened. It didn't happen. Sorry. But the point of that story was that I had a pumpkin spice latte for the first time. Whoa. And? She was getting a latte, and I already had a couple beers that day. So I'm like, ah, let's pump the brakes on this. And I had a pumpkin spice latte. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Yeah. Wow. 
They're pretty good. I saw a pumpkin pie blizzard coming straight in your mouth from uh, from Dairy Queen, apparently. What? Huh? Yeah, I saw it, I saw the commercial. Pumpkin pie blizzard. No, 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 no. Everybody knows pumpkin curious. pie is the greatest of all desserts. Chocolate Everybody knows pie. that. No, chocolate pie is fine. It's fine. Everything chocolate, do, you get pumpkin pie once a, mo- once a month, once a year for one month, okay? And you embrace that pumpkin pie. You treat that like the girl that you took to Catalina. You hold on for dear life. You, I'll be you, friends you, with you, it. You, you be fr- no. I'll be friends with the pumpkin pie. You, you in you. <laughs> but bring I love the chocolate in. pie. I love you, chocolate. Unbelievable. Pie. Uh, basic sheep fam says, Josh, it? thank mm. you for not letting Ellis get away with saying with she. What? Was th- saying she. I got away with nothing. Let me tell Everything you. Everything is above board. Everything is above the belt here. Let me tell you, Mark. I have been to Catalina. Oh, here we go. All I have seen at Catalina is couples doing couple stuff. Couples with luggage. Couples stopping at bars. Couples stopping in restaurants and cafes. Couples on golf carts. The golf carts are another thing because everybody's zooming around on golf carts. Everybody. And you know what golf cart means in French? Romance. It is a romance cart. That is not true. That is not. You put two people next to each other in a golf cart. The seats are too small. The only thing you can do is hold on. There's many words that Italians have for love, and it's a not, for cut. This was not agape love. She was not bathing an old person or whatever that commercial says. No, it was golf cart love. Let me tell you. But driving around that golf cart, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. pretty fun. Driving all around the island. God, nobody told me about this. So, Doesn't Riley go to Catalina like every week? He was keeping it. No, there's it no mo- wine on Catalina. He was. He, there's a lot of wine on Catalina. He was. He's. He's been underselling it. And Mark Riley and I are going to have words because I, I think he was holding Catalina back from me. Our buddy Christian Ruvalcaba chimes in. Catalina golf carts are the best. So what you're telling me, Is Christian Ruvalcaba, you, you knew, been? and you didn't tell us. Told nobody. They probably. They, they're probably doing wangers from there on yeah. Monday. You know what? What Catalina I think would be a good idea is a bachelor party for like a second wedding. Right or Mark's bachelor party? Do you know what I mean? Like the first bachelor party, you are go you to planning, Vegas. Or you are go- you planning a renewal of vows simply so that a bunch of us can go get drunk on Catalina? Let me tell you. Let me, no, I brought that up to Amanda, and I'm gonna, I'm going to bring it up to. This is not going to go well. I'm calling her. I think the baby's sleeping, so she might be whispering. She's been taking a, and I've got a super check because t- apparently today is the one year anniversary of uh, Eddie Van Halen's death. Unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, Amanda uh, Makuga. You're live here on the Positivity Report with Mark Ellis. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Mark. Um, so Mark took a young lady that apparently young ju- lady took me just friends to Catalina on yeah. Monday. Okay. Wow, yeah. that's a great date spot, uh, or or just also platonic friend hang. Well, Thank they you, also Amanda. got an Airbnb, babe, together. Two bedroom. It was a two bedroom. Two bathroom. Together. Okay. <sighs> Whoa. Yeah. Now I said I think that. Catalina, and we talked about this. I think Catalina would be a great place for a bachelor party. Like when we renew our vows, I go on a second bachelor party to Catalina. Oh, you need to have a second bachelor party? Well, yeah, everybody knows that. You Every 10 years. Walked like, right into this. Not how I would have oh, done right. it. right. Like you didn't celebrate enough the first time? Well, it was only three days. You got to keep this going. Uh, Amanda, can, can, <laughs> can I right. strike Josh's request from the record? I, I'm just going to kind of paint this in a different light for you josh loves you and is so thrilled with how the marriage has gone thus far he wants to renew his vows and better yet he wants to take a gang of us to catalina Mm -hmm. island all to celebrate we drive around golf carts it's all platonic high fives it's going to be a great time (laughs) do you want to go to catalina and renew the vows babe yes you got out for a second oh Okay. Right at the end of the joke. I don't care. I got a yes. I got a yes. She got a yes. That's all that matters. The ink is drying. I I like the idea, but here's the thing. Catalina is one of those places where I, I you just have to inform everyone of what it really is. Because you, Josh, you make it sound like it is. It's awesome. Paradise. It's amazing. For anybody it, over the age like of 40, it, it's perfect. Yes. It's not really your typical bachelor. No, nope, that's why I said for the second wedding. The first wedding, you go to Vegas, you do something stupid, San Diego, whatever. Second wedding, renewal of vows, whatever. You go to a place that's a little more calm, but you can still drink outside and get in trouble. Because, yeah. babe, if you remember, we saw that like really blacked out girl on a bachelorette party who like face planted in the sand. And instead of like telling her she had to leave the bar, they just put her on a lawn chair and covered her with a towel and said, just sleep it off. 
That's Catalina. She's going to be one do. of us. Because yeah. it's an island. You can't send them away. It's an island. I just don't want to use the B word. I don't think we need to do the B word. Blackout drunk? Bachelor party. Oh, yeah. How about a... It's going to be a social oh, get-together. You can't use the B word there because they'll just, they'll hate you all. A renewal of love showdown. Now, yeah. if I happen to show up and I am, in fact, an eligible bachelor... Then that's one thing, but I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna go around saying I'm a bachelor or I'm in a bachelor party. We're no, no, we're, no, we're no, past no, that, no. Josh. We have old stringy hairs. It's a, <laughs> it's a renewal vowel love fiesta. Okay, how about that, babe? Do you appreciate that term? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, Amanda McCook, everybody. That's she's a yes. a, an amazing wife, a hell of a mom. <laughs> she's still working on a survey, uh, I believe, from Cedar Sinai. Oh my God, I signed up to do this survey because I thought I was helping the doctors and health professionals with, you know, learning about pregnancy questions. during COVID. But now it's backfired and it's taken me days to do <laughs> just a six month update. And some of these questions are like, does your. Does your daughter understand at least 10 words? No, I don't know. <laughs> she hasn't told me yet. We're, we're, I'm not sure. Yeah. We're working on high like, and smile apply. and dada. I, Amanda, and Rosie. The, the, if you, yeah. or, another question was, Does she, if you go tell her to get a toy and bring it back to you, does she do that? No. She can barely move around. She just rolls. She doesn't understand if I tell her to bring me a toy. But then it starts making me question, like, is my child not doing what she's supposed to be doing? Ugh, I hate these surveys. Are these, Why um, did I sign up? Amanda, are these questions about you and the baby, or are they about you and your husband? Because I feel like Josh well, understands 10 words, <laughs> and I are, feel like he can... a little bit of both. They I, are a little bit of both. One of the questions was, like, it wanted to know, like, the temperament of both the parents and the baby. <laughs> and so it was, like, um, high adaptability or low adaptability. And Ooh. so I did have to fill in for Josh. And then another question was, who does the food planning for the baby, mother or father? I was like, well, obviously mother, but... Ooh, she can't sorry, eat wings gosh. or nachos yet. So, yeah, yeah, on on the survey, can you write in that dad has a great temperament if a Pittsburgh team won that weekend? Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, Amanda McCuga, everybody. Let's hear it for her. She's yeah. the best. Doing it. Love you, babe. Okay. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Uh, we got a couple super chats to get to. We, you know, um, we, you know what else we got? A green light, yes, to go to Catalina for the renewal. Uh, Kyle Harlow says vowels. That's my Pittsburgh uh, coming in. <laughs> renewal of vowels. Do you want to buy a vowel? I, I have. That's a hard one. You want to? You got renewal of? Because I, I thought it was renewal of vowels until I was like, Cyrus is like sixteen. I was like, oh, vowels. What was the movie starring Channing Tatum and Rachel McAdams? Uh, the vow. The vowel. This is why we make them write it down. It's tough. <laughs> it's <laughs> Pittsburgh ease sometimes comes out. Uh, our girl Jersey girl Lori chimes in with a suit chat. R I P E V H. And even worst anniversary ever. On a happier note, watched Ellis's comedy special last night. Loved it. Break a leg this weekend. Ah, oh, thank you Jersey, very much, Jersey girl Lori. You're in Jersey. Make the trip into Manhattan. Come on up. Get a hotel room. Do the whole weekend with everybody. Come see the baby. Cause you gotta see the baby. Chic femme chimes in. Ellis mentions he likes chocolate. He's telling you all something he's dropping clues, meaning <laughs> he likes more chocolate. <laughs> M&M's. Peanut M&M's. Reese cups. I mean, we're, we're, walking, we're coming into Halloween candy season. Mark, this could be the first year. Do you want to come over to do trick-or-treating? I'm going to be out of town in all likelihood. Damn. Are you going trick-or-treating? You just hosting? Well, yeah, I'm going to go trick-or-treating trick and also have candy for trick-or-treaters. But also, we have that ring cam, and I'm going to put the bowl out. And be like, take one, and then just yell at kids. I got to be the uh, the scarecrow on the Ellis Family Porch one oh, yeah. time, and man, was that fun! Yep. because you just you wait there, and and the whole thing is just to be lifeless, like the Jeepers Creepers thing. And then as soon as the kids come up, and they get the kid, and you scare the. Cr got I got it. so many scream. Yeah. I felt like one of the monsters yep. in Monsters Inc. because I was literally gaining life with every scream. That I elicited from a child. Correct. Uh -huh. Oh, it felt the, the, yeah. the power. It's Raw, you get drunk up. John McCuga used to do it, but we only got like two trick or treaters, so he used to fall asleep, and then trick or treaters would come, and they would leave, and he would forget. That sounds to like it. Yep. You want know, you know the weirdest stand up story of all time? Yes. Is Jeff Foxworthy it, when he was starting out was opening for Ali Joe Prater? You ever wow. see Ali Joe Prater's headshot? No. Big, big beard, just kind of like the original like Southern redneck sort yeah. of. Comic. I've heard the name, comic. but I've never seen the man. So they were they did this thing, and like Ali Joe for like to, before he would go on stage, he would be. In 
in the corner of the stage, but the audience didn't know it when they were sat. And so there was like kind of like a curtain over that area, and then he would just appear, and the crowd would go crazy when it's time for the headliner. So Foxworthy is on stage, and about halfway through, Foxworthy can hear Ollie Joe snoring. He was just snoring so loud, just like, <laughs> <laughs> because he, he was getting drunk in between the shows. Yeah, of course, yeah, passing so, out. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so note to self, um, when you come see me and Josh do stand up, the other one is not going to be on stage. Guess who's on stage? Covering. That's me. <laughs> Except yeah. if you bring me up, I go up, and then you literally stay on stage yeah. and just put a sheet over <laughs> you like you're a ghost. I'll be right here. There's no green room. I don't want to see anybody. Uh, we got a few super chats. Also, mm. Ikeka, let's bring up that futility uh, graphic real yeah. quick. Yeah, we're at twenty six thousand eight eighty five. That is so good. What's the goal? Thirty. Goal is thirty get to get there. the game made. I want to. I want to. I want this to happen Here. live on the show on Friday. If you guys could, you guys could make my Friday, my life, my weekend. I will sob on air on Friday. Uh, we've got a huge Josh Purdue on Friday. Anthony Carboni, Trisha Hershberger. Okay. Oh, I like them. Yeah, they're yeah, great humans. Good people. Let's hit t- let's hit 30k on Friday. It was 20 days to go. Then we hit those stretch goals. 26885. We are we are doing it. Okay? We got the social media goals. We hit the social media expansion goals. You're getting the sports pack, you're getting the movie packs. Those are done. You did it. Everybody did it. We got the thousands of retweets. We got the hashtags all over social media. You guys did that. That's two expansion packs that are happening. We got to hit all the goals, making it happen. I got some really fun people that came in here and are backing this project. People like the one and only Paul Fury, my buddy Dan Tormey, okay? Uh, people that I love in this life, thank you all so much. Also, Mark Ellis, a $500 backer, going to get his face on the box, him and Molly together. I hit the wrong button. Are you gonna, do you want Molly with you in yes. the picture? Yes. Done and done. Yes. On the box. It's her you guys money. Can get, you guys go 500 level, you can do your whole family, you can do your face, you can do your, you and your dog, you can do you and your high school girlfriend, you can do you and the one that got away, you can do one that you're going to renew your vowels with. Okay. Can it be me and my college friend from Catalina? <laughs> Correct. You and your college friend from Catalina. It could be you on a golf cart. Now I'm giving Aldo a lot of work. But I'm just saying, hit that $500 level. We're going to get those expansion packs. We're going to hit all the goals. We're going to be effing doing it. Sorry for yelling. It's exciting. You go to Catalina. You play futility the game. Oh, we could probably have some fun questions. Based around Catalina. We could. We, we could have a whole Catalina expansion pack. That's we sh- how we pitch this. The island expansion pack for to Catalina. To the lady folk. Instead of saying a bachelor party, you goon, you say, hey, we want to renew our vows because I love you that much. And also, yeah. while we're there, we're going to bring some writers to help come up with ideas. Correct. For the Catalina expansion pack. It's the friggin'. It don't, and don't even bring up the Catalina wine mixer. That's a whole other time. This is Catalina Joke Fiesta. You can bring up Catalina one. Yeah, I know. It's in, in my company. It's we only day. play 80s Joel. It, that's it. Uh, we got a few super chat. Our buddy Haskell 420. Hey, gang, Mark and Ken, safest of travels to you and everyone coming to New York. Thank you. And Ed. stoked for the next four days. Lots of laughs. Movie trivia schmodown. Catching up and football Sunday. Jets versus Atlanta, 9 a.m. in London. Figures. Oh. The London oh, games. Oh, that's an not, early. Not a fan. That's an early call time to see the Jets in the foul. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Do they literally schedule here. that game because they know that we're not going to wake up in time, so they don't want to waste it on <laughs> Jets Falcons? We had to play. I think that we. I think that was the year that we tied the Bengals in London. In London, I believe we tied them. I think we beat the Jaguars one time in London. I can't remember. I know we played a couple times over there, but I can't remember the games yeah. because it's six a.m. here. Uh, our buddy Kingsport Cal says, you can go to Windsor Speakeasy, the Carnegie Hotel, the Yeehaw Brewing Company, explore downtown Johnson City, stop at Pals. It's a college town. We crush in college towns. You had me at Yeehaw Brewery, but the, Car- yes. the Carnegie Hotel sounds haunted. No, Mark, the Carnegie Hotel owned by steel magnate Andrew Carnegie from Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. Pennsylvania, and also I'm- by way of Scotland. He's a wee Scotsman that made friggin' steel. Yeah, but the hotel's got to be haunted. No. Steel is cute, but it doesn't prevent ghosts from getting into hotel rooms, okay? Yeah. It's not like it's titanium. No, ghosts can't go through steel. It's like Superman and lead. Ghosts can walk all the... It, no, no, no. Y- do, you know what a, do you know what a steel beam is to a ghost? It's an inviting revolving door at a nice bank, okay? 
titanium on the Don't other hand. Don't you bring up bank revolving doors around me, sir. That is going to... Look, I know that you lost a brother in a revolving door accident, and I'm sorry for little Jimmy McCook. <laughs> he was okay? a hell of a kid. He was a nice kid, but he didn't have what it takes to take it all the way to Catalina Island. And now, guess what? He's stuck in the ghost realm, not getting through steel beams. <laughs> he can get through he steel can't. beams. He can't. Everybody knows ghosts can't go through steel. That That's is, why Pittsburgh doesn't have ghosts. That is not true. Yeah, the Overlook Hotel, you know what it's made out of? Steel beams. No, it's not. And you got ghost bartenders. You got you got dead ladies in bathtubs. You got twins. You got bloody elevators. You got all the ghost activity. I didn't know where you were going. And then you said bloody elevators. I was like, oh, shining. <laughs> shining. You didn't right. get it from ghost bartender? No. You didn't get it from the old lady Mark, in the bathtub? I have never seen that movie, and I will never see that movie. You shouldn't, but uh, that room 237. Stay away. Yeah. There's somebody in the tub. Wiley Todd chimes in with the Super Chat. Yo, Ellis, come to Oklahoma to do stand-up, please. Okay. Contact your local club. Say, I want Mark Ellis. And then have all your friends and family do the same thing. And then the local club will reach out. And then we'll all go to Oklahoma. Let's together. do Bricktown. Yeah. There is, I believe it's actually called Bricktown Comedy Club, and I've heard good things. Let's so. do it. Let's do it. And then Jersey Girl Lori, I'm traveling to Florida tomorrow oh. afternoon to see Shine Down on Saturday, or I'd be in New York City looking to do one of Mark's DC shows. Save me a meet and greet, says Jersey Girl Lori. Jersey Girl Lori, a $500 level backer of futility, the actual game of living. I like that play from Jersey Girl Lori, but we all know why she's really going to Florida. Let's not let's not mince words here. To she's going to see Ellis. Shine Down, great rock and roll band. Of course. But she lives in New Jersey and she's going to Florida. This is a practice visit. This is a scouting location uh -huh. for future retirement plans. Every decades later, but yeah. you got to lay the foundation at some point. You got to lay a steel foundation that goes going to be able to go in and out of, no. but humans can't. No. You're We're protected from other humans, and that's really the goal. Because ghosts, most of the time, like, I know they, they make a lot about movies and TV shows that scare him. Most of the ghosts you're going to see. Have you seen Casper the Friendly Ghost? He's nice. Yeah, uh, Devin Sawa. Yeah, you got uh, uh, the Frighteners, scary name, but you had some friendly ghosts in there. Yeah. Right? Ikaika, hit the Streamlabs. we got a Streamlab coming in. you should, you got to be on those Streamlabs, Ikaika. You can't just yawn over there, eat your Happy Meals. you got to be on the Streamlabs. He, look, he, again, it's a sensitive time. He didn't get the right toy. Kaika? He didn't get the 90s vintage toy he wanted. One more toy. Okay. I'm surprised he's here today. I wouldn't have showed up. Unbelievable. If I was hoping to get a vintage Berenstain Bears brother bear toy, and instead I got some, some gem in the holograms thing, I, I'm not showing up for work that week. I'm Holy. calling in sick. I am not well. What did gem in the holograms ever do to you? And the movie. No. Was there a movie? Yeah, and they had this like little BB-8 toy. You know what? I actually didn't hate the movie all that much. Interesting. We got a Streamlabs, Kaika? It's from Amy Benner. Yep. He's not speaking. Love all you guys so much. <laughs> Wish I was going to NYC, but sadly I can't be. Ellis, you never fail to make me smile. You get funnier as time goes on. Please come somewhere close to Maine. I Wait, get funnier. To Maine? Let, I'll go to Maine. And the hair gets stringier. What do you want to do in Maine? Maine is awesome. You're giving Bowden. King's Poor Cow crap about Johnson Augusta. City. What, okay, what do you do? Amy, thank you very much. I will be up there soon, I promise. We're we'll going to Maine, York. damn it. What are we doing in Maine? Okay, I'll tell you. I'll, I'll map out the whole trip to Maine. Okay, we fly to Logan. We get a nice little Sprinter van rent-a-car, maybe. Like okay. A, like a, a van. We're flying Me, into Boston you, is what he's saying. We're flying into Boston. Then we drive up to Maine, which is only about an hour and a half drive from the Boston airport okay. to the border of Maine. Then we just see all Bangor, Bowdoin, uh, Augusta. We go along the, the coast of Maine. What are these supposedly places? These are beautiful cities in, in, in Maine. Maine has this. Un, when you get to Maine, everything smells amazing. Maine has a smell. You get on the coast, you get some lobster. How much lobster? Oh, that's right. You don't need seafood. But if I if I told you it wasn't lobster and I gave you a lobster roll, you would never know. It's just butter filled meat. I do like butter. Okay, you got you got shore towns. You got bars. You got the you have the Catalina of the of New England up there. My issue is this. Oh, Gonquit, gorgeous. We flew into Boston. Yes, Boston has a lot of these accoutrements. Let me tell you about Boston. Boston has Cheers. Boston, great walking city. I'm not taking anything away from Boston. You've been to Boston. You already know it. Your family lived there for crying out loud. Fred Fish Ellis, because okay. he moved around like a fish on the Tufts University football field. You know, you know who lives in in Maine there, don't you? Uh, Fred Fish Ellis's great. <laughs> oh no, wait, that's me. Stephen King. 
I don't. I'm sure. I that, bet Stephen King. I, that's a good guess. Not, everybody says do the Stephen King tour. No, no, no. Dean Jersey Coon. Girl always said Maine's gorgeous. York Beach from J Dog. Lobster rolls. What to do in Maine? Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. It Maine is gorgeous. Mister Deeds is from from friggin' Maine. Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. All right. You All get right. these thick, and guess where else you can go from Maine? Get on a ferry. You can go across to Nova Scotia and play Cabot Links, the gorgeous golf course. And there's got to be gorgeous golf course. If we go in the wintertime, it's going to be a little cold. We put on a hats and a, a, like a warm clothes, and we make the people laugh. We, we fill them with warmth of laughter. I have made people laugh in Nova Scotia before. Boom! Uh, you, 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 know, you know we get Nova Scotia? We, we get some of that Canadian cough syrup. Am on. I right? You get some of that Canadian cough it's syrup. It's gorgeous. It's half maple syrup, half bourbon. It's thick and it warms you up straight to the cough. <laughs> okay. Name here says Maine is spooky season year round because of Stephen King. No, see, it's not the whole state. Uh, see, now you're scaring the baby. Sorry. Now we had to end the accent and we're back. Needful thing. Yes, come here, Amy Benner says. To Maine. Yeah. Maine is awesome. The main reason I want to go to Maine is to see Amy Benner. Thank you all so much. Let's do some videos that make me smile. We can get out of here. How there. dare you? <laughs> Now we're just here. <laughs> we're, we're, this is the main. Yeah, is not doing well after that happy move. Yeah, man, Something's he's... going on over there. Acadia National Park. Brian Jackson, Mr. McClunky. In Ghostbusters, the goats can't escape steel traps. Oh so maybe God. Josh is on to something. Mock, safe travels to New York. Those are more than just steel. They're steel. All right, watch this, kid. I, we've all been here, okay? Yeah. But I think someone has to poop. Yeah. yeah, we've all been there. Hold your butt. Get to the bathroom. Just I mean, pucker, the pucker, fact pucker, that pucker. a baby is 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 this aware of the fact they're like, I'm trying to hold it, trying to hold it. That is going to serve them well later in life. Well, 100. Yeah. They are learning young. This is something that the the, the uh, uh, Cedar Sinai survey has mm-hmm. your as your baby walked around trying to hold a poop in. Yeah, that's impressive. Maybe. That was yeah. me after the Happy Meal. <laughs> <laughs> that happened. All right, what's next? Okay, again. All right, watch this. This is Amanda on her Yeah. Honeymoon. What? That, uh, that was bad. That was an improvement over the first one. This is Amanda diving off the boat on her honeymoon in Italy, knowing I not me not knowing full well that my wife. Oh, Amanda doesn't, doesn't cannot do dive. Bad. She is. I was a later in life learner to dive properly, but by the time I got to high school, I was diving. I was doing flips. Yeah. I was doing all See, sorts of stuff. Amanda, that's a no go. Yeah. As a as a woman who grew up near the beach, actually on the beach, not knowing how to dive, shocking. One but, time I uh, one time I tried to do a flip off a high dive. Uh, and I and I did the flip, and then I got cocky. Kept and then going. the next time I went up, I tried to go combo. Uh, landed square on my back. Oh, that's a tough one. And then two hours later, go to high school basketball practice, shirts and skins. Yeah. I was on skins. Take my Ooh. shirt off. And everybody's like, what happened to your back? I'm like, I don't know what happened. How bad is it? Man, that was painful. That's a tough one. Yeah. All right, we got one more, Ikeka. Uh, it's a cat that talks? Okay? What kind? Yeah. No. It says no. Okay. It says the hello. Ca- the cat. Hello? Yeah. I thought they had a kid back there. Hello? No, that's a cat. That's a cat? Yeah. Hello. Whoa, cats can talk. Okay. Marvin, the English speaking cat, can. Yeah. Marvin sounds, if I was Marvin, Marvin's I would introduce myself name. as not just Marvin. My full name is, hello, I'm Marvin, the English speaking cat. <laughs> that's our first uh, animated series that we're selling. Marvin, the animated cat. And his friend uh, Doug from Boston. Let Doug let me tell you, okay, I'm a cat, but I also love Maine in the wintertime. And oh, then when yeah. the leaves start falling, you got that rocky beach. There's also a Shih Tzu I follow on Instagram from Maine. You well start Maine. licking yourself to, you know, you got to bathe. Unbelievable. Start licking yourself. I got to trim the nails. You know, I got this new scratching post. Oh, God. Oh, good oh, Lord. Oh, God. I rub my back on that. Oh, oh God. Right there. Right there. Uh, Troy says, I think the Catalina of the Northeast is Nantucket, actually. Don't you be bringing Nantucket into here. A lot of people like Nantucket, Josh. I've heard it's gorgeous. Good nectar. There's a lot. Oh, they do got some good nectar. It, 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 for my money, look, Fritopia came and went. Yes. Nantucket nectars. That's where the that's where the good juice was at. It's, it really is just sugar. It's like when, when oh, Snapple gosh. was like, oh, shoot. Do you remember when everybody lost their minds for juices like that in the 90s? Because we all yeah. thought we were drinking healthy stuff. Correct. But it turns out, no, you're just cramming a lot of sugar in there. It's all in sugar. In between Snackwell's cookies, <laughs> which Again, were like, hey, sugar. we got one gram of fat less. The calories, eh, don't worry about Who cares? it. You, you, you wash yeah. them down with some wow chips. Mm-hmm. God, the 90s. Bad era. 
underratedly bad era for nutrition. Oh, I mean, everybody talks about like this. Well, we were just dealing with like lard and stuff in the 60s and 70s. And all of a sudden they're like, hey, this doesn't have sugar. It's got a sugar substitute. We're like, let's chug it. And yeah. died. Then the 90s. Hey, you don't want fat? Olestra. <laughs> Never poop again. <laughs> You're welcome, constipation. Yeah. All right, we got one more. This is hilarious. You got to turn up the volume. Here we go. You ready? One more. Damn it. <laughs> oh, it's it's Christmas. Damn it. oh, That's great. Damn it. I gotta watch my language around Rosie now because I know she's sponging it now. She's gonna start. Yep, yeah, there we go. This is every person Monday morning walking into yeah. their office job. If we don't hit 30k, that's gonna be me walking around the show and this office. Do you want him to have a poopy diaper? Come on. Uh, maybe that's the. T- Josh will literally crap himself on air uh, if we get to thirty thousand. Let's do it. Let's put him in diapers again, uh, uh, where he belongs. I can't. I can't control my butt like that. I can't control my stomach. I can't, I can't Roy like Rogers breakfast. And uh, there we go. Right bingo. Speaking of bingo, <laughs> I have some. Oh, you got it. You got an idea. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mark's got a heart out in one and a okay. half minutes. <laughs> okay. Josh, this is yours. When you do okay. your De Niro impression, that's one. Okay. Uh, when you mute your computer because you forget to mute it. Oh, that's a good one. Whoops, it is. Uh, when you send me an email during the show. Oh, yeah. That's a good bingo. <laughs> when you say, literally rips your face off. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when you call Amanda. Okay. That's a good one. And mm-hmm. getting scared. Okay. Do we'll I have do any? That. Yeah. Um, Mark right, Riley right now I have creation. Stuff. Mark Riley that's walking in during the show. Yeah, that's is a great bingo card. Yeah, that's bingo one card. when Riley yeah. says, my friend. Oh, yeah. When Riley claps into the microphone. Uh huh. Yeah. And when he laughs really loud into the microphone. Yeah, we'll give you that. And I got to work on kids. Who's looking trim? That Mark Riley. Yeah. Somebody is making a play for the weight loss challenge. He's not even in it. Oh, he's not? No, because he didn't need to. Oh, yeah. okay. I mean, he's look, he's got a personal trainer certification. It's true. You know? Let that laugh. Yeah. <laughs> is it, are, are you not in season anymore? Oh, God, no. no, Mark's not in season. I feel like if if you train with Riley, he'll sign you up, and then the way to get there is you have to uh, follow the canyon of the crescent moon, <laughs> and then you got to pass three tests, and then you get in there, and Riley's all blue because he's been there for twelve hundred years. Only the penitent will pass, and he's like, I don't know, d- do some push-ups. Only the penitent will pass, Mark. Only the penitent will pass. Speaking of penitent, thank you all for joining here on the Positivity Report uh, tomorrow. I don't have a guest lined up, but I might. We'll see. Uh, Mark is in New York City with Ken and everybody. Thursday night, Friday night, New York Comedy Club, Saturday night, Movie Trivia Schmodown, Roulette Intermedium, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I'm crushing this promo. I've got to be honest. Let's go. If you're on a plane later today, you really got me doing this. Okay, you really got me doing this. Yeah. Okay, fine. We'll go to Maine. Listen, uh, you guys... Let's do, come on, we're going to friggin' Maine. Play Hit that utility Johnson Kickstarter. City. It's tagged in the in the damn chat here. Let's bring Kingsport Cal up to Maine. Let's bring Kingsport Cal. There's a Kingsport, Maine. There's got to be. Come on up. There's got so many daggum ports up there. Come on up. Oh, there's a lot of ports. There's a lot of, uh, yeah. there's a lot of aqueducts. Yeah. So, oh, so many aqueducts. A lot of bridges. Gorgeous. You know, ghosts can penetrate steel now. No, they can't. Choose positivity every single day. It's an active choice. Call somebody, text them, tell them you love them. Don't put any ghosts through steel. Spooky. <laughs> it's ways to love and hate. Find the good. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>